Hey, what's going on, guys? James here, bringing you another YouTube video, and we are once again back for another edition of Friday Night No Mercy, this guy's show right here. Hell yes. And um, why don't you walk us through the three matches you have booked for this Casual Universe episode? All right. So to kick off the show, we got a Money in the Bank qualifier, which would be Adam Cole versus the man I just recently signed, the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. And we got the second match, we got another Money in the Bank qualifier. We have Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano. Versus Andrade Cien Almas with his lovely manager, Zelina Vega. And of course, we can't forget that once again, Andrade cost himself a win against Cedric Alexander and an opportunity to go for Baron Corbin's European Championship. By punch him in the pecker. He low-blowed him again, this time getting himself disqualified. So the feud's definitely not over there. Oh, definitely. And then for our main event, we have uh, pretty much all the participants for the Triple Threat World Heavyweight Championship match, along with the European champion Baron Corbin, which will be Daniel Bryan teaming up with John Cena, taking on Shinsuke Nakamura, and as I said, the European champion Baron Corbin in the main event. Well, with that being said, let's get into the show. Yeah. Now, how many matches are we playing? Uh, I say we play the Cold Styles match and then play the main event. Gargano and Vega don't, or Gargano and almost don't need to be played. So we're just yes. going to leave that money bit qualifier up to chance? Yep, up to chance. Okay. Alright, so we'll start things off. Again, your show, so you decide who you're going to be. Uh, Cole or the new signing? Signee. Sign, yeah, signee. Uh, signee. Whatever. I know you like being Adam Cole, and I know you like being Styles. I'll be Styles. Okay. You like being Adam Cole. Adam Cole, baby! Adam Cole, baby! So it is nice to be able to like record multiple times like within the same week with For you. Real. Like that's really cool. Yeah, our schedules have been so messed up and now finally yeah. we have actually a chance to get some stuff done and bringing all this content to the channel which would be good for the viewers. Yeah. There's Adam Cole. Adam Cole without his era boys. And here comes the phenomenal one. Making his debut. By the way, I know you said you are going to change the filters every month like I do. <laughs> Which one's going to be next? Who knows? I go bad VHS. Well, if you do bad VHS, I can't do it then. So that means... That's fine, because we'll still be playing in bad VHS, which is all I want. But that means I have to come up with a new plan. Or I'll just keep forgetting to do it, and I'll be stuck on the 90s filter. So, who knows? Uh, I hate when we cut, create custom attires and then he doesn't put the hood down. Yeah. Which I'm hoping is something they fix for 2K22 because I know in this game, 2K19, the Lacey Evans DLC, um, if it's a cus if you change the colors or anything like that, change the attire, she'll st still take off the skirt and everything. Oh, for real. So, nice, 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 nice. I'm hoping that's something they can work on. All right. So, okay, okay, AJ. Need a face? Boot to gut. You want that trademark AJ Styles drop kick? Eh, eh. Boom. Oh damn. Oh, I love that Izagiri did. It's such a super old animation, but it still looks pretty all right. Oh, phenomenal blitz. I love this. I phenomenal blitz. You see that in the Million Dollar Tower all the fucking time. Yeah. Um. Phenomenal blitz. Okay. Are you still trying to work on that? Kind of. I was thinking about bringing my PlayStation over here. <laughs> yeah, we today we don't have the time for that. Oh, got the knee. I have no reversals. So you're going to hit it. Ooh. That is one of the easier ones to hit, though. Um, the min moves, anyway, is what I mean. Power bomb. Could go for the pin. Look over. What's funny about that pin animation for that power bomb, there was one time back in um, 2K16 with the original <laughs> universe... That I came up with a little bit of a story <laughs> story beat for something where I said Dean Ambrose got the win by doing that pin combo because it looked like at the time that when you did the pin combo, you were pulling the tights. So yeah, kind of did that. Yeah. Oh God. Ooh. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that went all black and white on you for the pin. Oh, nice. Pay Boom, oh, there the we go. Pele. Little big Oh, <laughs> possum pin. I love the possum pin. Yeah, the, one. 
The only thing that I wish they would change about it, oh, time to show a little bit of disrespect to the phenomenal one. The only thing I wish they would change about the possum pen would be make it a little bit difficult to kick out. Maybe just up the speed like with leverage pens, just by a little bit. So it actually feels like a surprise, Oshigoroshi. I have no been, chance to have been, boom, <coughs> say so you nail it. I did not want to do that, but all right. Eh, fuck it. Got one. And I got one. And I'm only good for one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, possum pen again. God, I love it so much. Your reversal game is on point right now, man. Oh, got me. Nice, 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 nice. I give that to you. Oh, oh. time for the Florida Keys. Got it. That German suplex. Got a one. Oh, time for the Panama Sunrise. Here we go. Do the flip, Canadian Destroyer! Got him. Oh, only the one. Okay. I'm surprised my arm wasn't much damaged. Usually I thought I would have like a, just a little bit of kick out window. You've had uh, the advantage more often than I have in this match, that's why. Okay. Well, we're both equally damaged. Oh, I actually love this move. I don't know what the mid move reversal timing for it is, though. Not that it gave me the chance to do it that nice. time, but I don't know the timing for it. I mean, oh. most of the mid move timings make quite a bit of sense. In all honesty, that one I just. I don't know. Ah. You just barely uh, didn't have the time for it. Ah, I missed that timing, too. Fuck. Topico Hilo. Okay, nice reversal. <laughs> oh, you throw up a too sweet. Okay. I'm really upset WWE never actually did that. Um, like Era versus like either AJ in the club or Balor in the club. Yeah. Like, just send him down to NXT, put it in War Games. That's a money match right there, man. I mean, hell, even, like, Survivor Series for um, for it would be great. Ooh, nice super kick. Out of nowhere, too. Caught me off guard, that's for damn sure. Oh, got me again. Four keys. Got me. Not Nice not going for the pin because it would probably have been a rope break. Very nice, very nice, very nice. I can never count that. And the last shot. Last shot, baby! You do have resiliency if you feel the need to use it. Be safe. Oh, you timed it perfectly. It lit up green in there. I didn't want to, like, risk it. Makes sense, though. Yeah, and you know how many times I've botched kickouts. Um, we've both done it plenty of times. Oh, nice knee! Yoshi. Yoshi. Oh, damn it. oh, I love that. I really do. Figure four, baby. I haven't done enough damage to the legs to make you tap. Even with being better at button matching than you. Yup. I'm getting better. I'll reverse it. You have. I mean, it's not like... I mean, it helps that it's not an automatic loss anymore either. Whereas, like, with the breaking point system from, like, 2K14, like, if you... Like, it was pretty much an automatic loss for you. Though you have beat me with the breaking point system before. It wasn't too often. Oh, oh nice. Drop me in the ass. <laughs> I, I literally did. <laughs> oh, got him with the knee. Ah! Didn't have a mid move again. Oh, I'm drunk. Oh, <laughs> caught me again. We got him. Oh, oh. God, almost got him. Oh, nice. 
Roll the fade over DDT. Oh, that one didn't give me a reversal either. Hmm. Shocking. I mean, it's fine. But just <laughs> I'm just kind of surprised it didn't give me the mid move. Knee drop brain buster. Oh, you reversed! You reversed the knee drop brain buster. You can't go right into the finish. Oh, you. Well. I don't think the Samus Red got back that quickly, but it doesn't really matter. Two. Ah, I just barely missed it. <laughs> well, Styles qualifies for Mind the Bank, becomes the second man, along with Aleister Black. And that gives Adam Cole his second loss in a row. Ugh. Styles starting off strong in his debut. In the, a good match, though. Oh, it was it. a very good match. Very good match. It was about 12 minutes. Not bad. Oh, that would be the entire recording. I'd say the match probably closer to 8 minutes, if I had to guess. I really thought I was going to screw myself on that freaking uh, possum pin. Mm -hmm. I thought I, that last one, I thought I was going to really screw up on it. I was just like, yeah. all right. I really wanted to go for the Phenomenal Forum, but I was like... Yeah, I might as well just play it safe and do the Styles Clash. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's harder to reverse the Styles Clash than it is the All Phenomenal right. Forum. So now here we go. Now we simulate. Okay, randomly sim simulate who is going to Money in the Bank to join Alistair Black, AJ Styles, and Christian on Velocity. Johnny Gargano. Johnny Wrestling. So almost finally gets his, well, technically his third loss. Yeah. All right. Just one now, loss was his own fault. <laughs> now the tag team match main event. John Cena and D. Bry. Well, that means, again, it's Styles, Gargano, Aleister Black for No Mercy, and Christian for Velocity. And we'll find the last two people on the next episode of Velocity. All right. So are we going to be on the same team or are we going to be on different teams? I mean, might as well be different teams, I'd say. It's just what team do you want to control? Uh, I don't. I control both players, wouldn't I? Uh, I set it up that way, but just in case, do either Brian or Corbin. That should be guaranteed to do it. And, uh, I mean, not like you can't switch off touching the using the touchpad. Are you going to switch? Here you go. Um, yeah. Let me knock him over Corbin. Nice little tag in action. I always find when people, especially creators, are looking to do um, a tag match and they decide to be on the same team, it never works out. They always end up screwing each other, or they do something that's super unrealistic or anything like that. And it just never comes off as fun. Especially with the older games, before, like, if you got off the apron, the illegal tag partners would lose momentum. Like, more, more, more often than not, you just have someone get off the apron and start attacking the other partner. And it's like, why? What's the point of being a tag match, then? Fight for your dreams, and your dreams will fight for you. Unless you're Daniel Bryan and Co-op Universe, I think. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. He's, I don't think he's full-blown heel, but... He's something. He did walk out of Nakamura. Hey, and Nakamura versus Brian here. Mm, we didn't even plan that. We, we didn't just even realized plan that. that. Plus loyalty and respect himself, John C. Knight. And of course, if this was 2K15, he would be... I feel lucky. I feel great. Time to go to work. God, I don't remember. Did he do that on the last gen version of the game? Or was it just the PS4 and Xbox One? Which I know you didn't really play that version of. No. 2K15. Here's still the man with like probably the best theme song in WWE There's right the, now. The European champion. Won off by a roll-up against last of the man, Cedric Alexander. But he will be facing Cedric at Money in the Bank. In a stipulation to be named later. Whether it be one-on-one -on -one or a stipulation, I don't know. But I'm sure he'll think of something at some point. The European champion. In fact, do you want it just to be one-on-one -on -one for that match? We'll figure it out. Okay. I have maybe give, heard... Maybe give a surprise to the viewers. <laughs> I have heard that the world title match for No Mercy at Money in the Bank will look to have a special kind of stipulation. And I will reveal that stipulation. It will be a triple threat. Two out of three falls. <laughs> okay. I love that... Because I'll be honest with you, I just kind of like randomly pitched that idea before he got here. And it's just like, hmm. I just want to try it to see if it actually work. Again, like, I know you could in the old games, but with the, when Match Creator came back in 17, I don't know if it was still there. If you could. Because like in the old Match Creator, you could do a um, like three-on-one handicap, last man standing, hell in a cell. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, now, of course, you can't do that. Which is still phenomenal, by the way. I love that just wacky concept. It would never work in real life, but uh, I love that you could just do something that stupid in the games. God, I keep messing with the timing there. Oh, wow. He's got the cane uppercut, dude. That's sick. Uh, here for now. Got him. Nice. This match is not starting off all that great, by the way, but either way. Oh, hip toss. Boom! At first, I thought when it first did that, I thought I, you reversed it, and then I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, break the ice. Oh, nice. Forever that. <laughs> Didn't even realize it, to be honest with you. No. No, you. Hot take. I hate that that is so broken, dude. Why do you get. Why does the hot tag have to get priority every time? The fired up cement taunt? Yes. I mean, I'll admit, like, the hot tags from the. Like, the old hot tags needed to be reanimated. Like, like, redone completely. But. Oh, Nakamura caught me. He hit you with that Gamagiri. I like how I wasn't even drunk that much. Oh, it's because you don't have a lot of. Oh! <laughs> no, no! Chase at 2K15! God, that was, um... I remember 2K15, that was, like, near impossible to reverse. Oh, just a nice stiff right. German! German! Seeing it does Germans, too. Hell yeah. Well, I mean, he's taken enough from Brock to, uh, be able to do him. 16 German suplexes? That's summer slam. That was 2014, right? 2014, yep. Yeah, because yeah, 13 was Dan Bryan, where Daniel won. By the way, if you ever have any sort of challenge with Cena in the games, just remember, okay? Just remember. Face Buster? <laughs> uh, electric chair Face Buster. Damn it. Um, just remember. Do that challenge in SummerSlam, because Cena does not win at SummerSlam often. Nope. Unless he's burying the Nexus. But that's a conversation for another time. You are doing so damn well right now. You can't see me, but you're gonna feel this five knuckle, knuckle shuffle. shuffle. Oh, 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 oh. And boom. And as on and up, as like wishy washy I am on Jerry Lawler's commentary, I will always love some like that call, like his call of that or um, you piece of shit. <laughs> oh damn it! It didn't work. I hate when it does that. I. I hate most of the catching finishers because they don't make sense. Like, what's the point of throwing him up just to catch him like you would and do a normal AA? You missed the cane uppercut. You missed it again. Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, Boom. stuff like the RKO, the Sweet Chin Music, Trouble in Paradise, they, those all make sense. But something like the End of Days, the, um... It's like something like the End of Days, the AA, the GTS, the Choke Slam. You're all just, you're just catching them to do a normal move. Yeah, true. It's like sure it looks cooler, but like it, there's no more impact than it would have normally. Two step. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, there it is. Oh, Daniel does have the suicide dive. I know he does. Drop kick. I still don't like that drop kick animation, to be honest. Nice. Yeah, Baron has got nothing Ooh, going in this Nice match. German. Smart to tag in a fresh partner. Ooh, a fresh Nakamura and a somewhat fresh Brian. Ooh, nice kick to the spine. I mean, Cena came in and still kicked ass, though. So Cena's still pretty fresh. Like, everything Corbin threw at him Ooh. got reversed by Cena. Not really disrespect, but just, oh, I think there's a mid move for that. Yeah, there is. Nice. It's a pretty cool mid move. I very rarely hit yeah, it though, actually. Nakamura's just coming in, freaking just guns blazing here. Jeez. Absolutely. Ooh, planting him into the mat. Kind of like nice. a, kind of like a version of a curb stomp. Nakamura's on fire. Nice reversal. Hurricane Rana again. Whoa. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, not in the corner. Oh! Excuse me? 
Oh, we had a oh, do you remember we had a similar cell like that in the Shawn Michaels Cena match in the favorite wrestlers tournament? Oh. I don't remember what it was, but it was a stupid oversell like that. It was amazing. Stuff like that abuses me. There's these weird toss that Brian has. What, you're like the machine guns? Because he's Batista. Here we go, inverted exploder. <laughs> You're gonna hit that Kinshasa. Oh, oh maybe. He's gonna tag in Corbin. I'm good with either or. Here we go. This what got him in the triple threat against Finn Balor. But Cena right in the ring to break it up. Got a one. Well, Corbin looking to do damage. Doesn't get it. So Brian saved. <gasps> oh. Now here's the yes kicks. Or the famous it kicks. <laughs> if you are the Miz. Oh. That should be a mid move. But everybody would reverse it. We always. Like everyone has always said that for years too. And that's one, a point that we okay. both made plenty of times before. Like it really should be a mid move. Because it doesn't matter if everyone will reverse it or not. Regardless, it's perfect for a mid-move. Sometimes that's a hard move to counter. The corner knee strike. Yeah. Ooh, wow. Oh! <laughs> okay! <laughs> that was Someone's a little upset. That was dope. Okay. I see you. Oh, I'm going for the middle rope, Kinshasa. Maybe not. I'm well, just a inverted exploder. I am uh, dead. Tags in a fresh partner. Well, not really fresh. Nakamura and Cena are like the freshest people in this match. Oh, you dick. Oh, that's it. And disqualification. And that'll be a disqualification. Oh, is he going to try to hit it? Yup. Can you try to hit the end of base? Gonna try. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that means Brian and Cena get the win via disqualification because Corbin's antics. <sighs> well, I thought after Cena, I think that's the fastest show of velocity we've ever done. Oh, you mean no mercy? Yeah. Sorry, my bad. Twenty-four minutes. Last one was like thirty-one. Last one because we all played all matches. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I just thought like after Cena came in and started just completely dominating Corbin, that it would kind of make sense. To get out of there, still have a little bit of momentum on his side to go into the pay-per-view. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Just to do a little recap, AJ Styles defeated Adam Cole in the first Money Bank qualifier of the ma of the show. And then we did not play this match where Johnny Gargano ended up picking up the win against Andrade to take the final spot on the No Mercy side of Money in the Bank, joining Aleister Black and AJ Styles. And in the main event, John Cena and Daniel Bryan will get the win by DQ due to Baron Corbin using brass knucks on Bryan. And that will close out the show. All right. Let's look at some power rankings here. They probably didn't change. Probably never do change. Cena's still one. Brian's still two. Styles three. No, Styles went up to three. Well, but... that's because I added him, and they immediately sh shot him up there. Yeah. Not because of the win. Cena's still number one because he's the... Yeah. Well, yeah, that really hasn't changed. Yeah, if we want to, we can like edit this after Money in the Bank. Rick, go, Che. But yeah, oh. um, of course, Corbin, you know, 14 days, blah, blah, blah. So yeah. far. And then we'll crown the new world champion at Money in the Bank. And let's see what they want for Velocity, the go-home show to Money in the Bank. What do they want? They want Shelton Benjamin versus Jeff Hardy. Matt Hardy versus Edge. Hey, I, I could have called it again in the main event. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Two matches. Nice. Yeah. But okay. <laughs> Come on, I called that. Come on, that was pretty cool. Like the last. Yes, hour. yes, it was. We we said that last week. Yes, or, I called it. I was like, they want Edge versus like Matt Hardy and <laughs> fucking sure shit. But we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment down below, share it on social media, do all that good stuff. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye, guys.